hey everybody, TikTok banned all my accounts. I received a device ban, so I'm not allowed to use the TikTok app anymore. I can't register on it. Of course, I have another device where I can start using TikTok again. But before I do so, I wanted to figure out, well, why was I banned at all? Of course, I did not receive any message. I did not receive any email, nothing. So I figured it's because the last video of mine that went viral, went viral in Africa. And there's a big conflict going on there in Western Africa uh, between Russian forces and French forces. France, which is this big country, Europe over here, officially isn't supposed to control any uh, colonies anymore, uh, but it does. So France used to control almost all of uh, West and Northern Africa. Uh, but today there are still a number of countries such as uh, Mauritania, Mali, Burkina Faso, Chad, Niger, and so on, that are definitely controlled by France still. It's called France Afrique or France's secret colonial empire. On this map, you can see it even better. Uh, it also includes countries like Senegal, Ivory Coast, Benin, and even countries like Gabon, Cameroon, Republic of Congo, Central African Republic, and so on, uh, are under some form of French colonial control. Uh, primarily, the, the countries you see here that are uh, marked with these thick blue and purple lines, they still use the French franc. The French franc that is issued by the French Central Bank, even though France itself switched to the euro. And so France, through its financial exploitation, is able to get these countries that you see here to give up their resources for the cheap for the French industry. In fact, this is the only reason why France has still been able to compete with German industry at all. Otherwise, France would have gone bankrupt a long time ago. But as you perhaps can see over here, you see the gray areas on this map here. That's where France has clear influence. But the red colors indicate Russian influence. So what's going on here? Well, um, France and Russia are fighting each other here over who gets to control these nations and their resources. Russia's Wagner Group is active in Western Africa. And the, the purpose of the Wagner Group, led by Putin now, is to take charge of France's West African colonial sphere, to take it away from France. And as a result of that, um, that means France is going bankrupt. But France is a part of the European Union. A French bankruptcy would wreck Europe would wreck the European Union. And so you see what this whole conflict with Russia and Ukraine is really about. It has very little to do with the fact that Russia took some territories from eastern Ukraine. It has much more to do with the fact that Russia is taking over the Western colonial power base. And so, no, I don't think that Putin is our savior. Putin, like Western nations, only cares about controlling the world. This is a conflict over who gets to dominate Africa and by extinction, who gets to dominate the world. Putin is also flooding Russia with immigrants from Asia, for example. They have the similar problems with Islamization and replacement immigration as we do in Europe and in North America. But the ruling elites of all these territories, whether they are white or not, they couldn't care less about the survival of their peoples. They only care about capturing the globe and owning the world. So what do I think is going on here? I think all the great powers in the world are trying to capture the massive African population, the uh, Arab Islamic populations, and the Indian population to try to somehow either conquer or destroy European economies and the European markets. And so this is why I think that Great Britain has this massive immigration policy where they are importing millions and millions and millions of people from India and Pakistan and so on, and also from West Central Africa. It's the reason why Western media have started rewriting their own history, pretending as though, say, Irish people used to be West African black people. That isn't true, but they're doing it because these globalists in charge couldn't care less about their people living in their own lands. They just want to have global power. And so by transforming the island, the British islands, into this hyper multicultural, super diverse territory, you can then align yourself politically and culturally with Western Africa, with the Central African populations, with the Islamic world and with India. And in so doing, you might then be able to use these populations that circle all around Europe to either invade and capture Europe, preventing Russia from doing so. But then again, Russia and Putin are doing exactly the same thing. Putin is also transforming Russia into a multicultural sphere where they want to import more Muslims, more people from India and Asia and so on to try to capture those populations and perhaps use those 
mercenary armies to conquer and capture or destroy Europe. Why would all these parties want to conquer and capture Europe? Well, prime real estate, location, location, location. If Russia would capture Europe, they would be able to build a Eurasian world empire that could dominate the world. But the British and their American partners over here really only care about controlling global trade. But what about us? What about us Europeans who actually live here? Do we want to be invaded either by Russians and their Asian partners, their Asian mercenaries from India? Do we want to be invaded by, I don't know, the Islamic Ottoman Empire and their Indian mercenaries? Do we want to be invaded by the North Africans or the Central Africans? I guess not. I guess we don't. So where do we fit into all of this? If Does this mean that we are simply being genocided? Yes, that's exactly what it means. They're just trying to capture Europe, and if they have to genocide us, they will. And so then what could we possibly do to start pushing back against this dystopian future that we don't want? Well, by that I mean that the white people of Canada and the USA may need to all have to reconvene over here in Northern and Eastern Europe and Scandinavia, also Ukraine, Belarusia, and Northwestern Russia, where most of the Russian white people live over here. Same with people from Australia and New Zealand. You may need to also return to Europe and the same for the people from South Africa may also need to return to Europe so that we can make a stand over here and make sure that this whole territory this Northwest Eurasian territory remains our homeland problematically today though is that we don't have any leadership the EU leadership in Brussels they listen to the Anglo and the Americans they don't listen to the European people they don't care about us the French elites clearly are more concerned about controlling their remaining African colonies. They don't care about us. Putin led by Russia, those are Duganists. They believe in that Eurasianism. They only care about conquering Europe. They don't care about us. But that doesn't mean nothing can be done. We still have till about the end of this century to get all our people from the former colonies back into Europe so we can make a stand here. We can defend this territory. Not by getting white Europeans to kill themselves off against white Russians, for example, because a lot of these soldiers that are now dying over here in Ukraine, they actually come from Siberia, which is all this territory. And what's so special about Siberia? Well, Siberia controls like 20 or 28 percent of the remaining coal supplies. Coal, well, that's very useful for the Chinese industry. So you can kind of guess what's going on here. Putin is purging the white people from Siberia, killing them off in Ukraine so he can then sell Siberia to, to the Chinese so, so the Chinese can get access to the coal reserves there. It does seem like this is true, that they're just trying to kill white men off in a meaningless war between, say, Europe and Russia. And in the meantime, all the other great global powers are trying to capture the African, the Indian and Islamic populations to use those populations as mercenaries to take over the world. We white people here in Europe are simply stuck in the middle. But there's no reason for us to surrender. This here is our homeland. We've got nothing else. So this is what we are going to defend.